Probably one of the things I like least about my position is when my friends or family say, hey, I thought about you the other day. I saw this bug. My name is Peter Obojski. I am the curator and collections manager of the Essex Museum of Entomology here at UC Berkeley. We have somewhere around 50,000 species in this collection and somewhere between five and six million specimens. The museum in many ways is like a library. We have specimens we loan to people around the world. The Essex Museum is not generally open to the public, but when we do have special occasions, we like to put out our oh my display. Every once in a while, somebody actually does say, oh my. The insects in our oh my collection are from around the world, as a lot of the tropical areas tend to have these bigger, brighter, more colorful sorts of things. So these giant water bugs are pretty neat. The one you see down here is a male that has eggs glued to his back. So the female actually attaches the eggs to his back. And there's two advantages to this. These insects live in slow moving or still water where there's not a lot of oxygen. So by having them on the back who's, of the male who's swimming around, they're getting more oxygen. But also the male can protect them against predators who would like to eat those eggs. Really what turned me on to entomology is that, is that there's this world that's all around us all the time. I mean, we're breathing in insect pheromones right now. There's insects right outside the door. And nobody sees them. Nobody knows they're there. And when I started studying entomology, they just appeared. Like a, the blinders were taken off my eyes and all of a sudden there was this, all this life around me that I started paying attention to. And I walk through the world now with a much different vision than I think most people have. So it's no secret that entomologists are somewhat OCD. Insects are symmetric, and we don't want to put a pin right through the dead center because there may be features that are in the center that we would disrupt. So we need to put the pin off to one side, and we always put it off a little bit to the right through the thorax. Now, if you put the pin through the left side of the thorax, the sun would come up the next day, the world would keep spinning, but you would freak out an entomologist. They look at it, they say, who pinned this? They pinned it wrong. And it really doesn't matter, but it does matter. Some things uh, like larvae, spiders that have soft bodies, we want to preserve them um, so that they don't shrivel. And to do that, we will put them in ethyl alcohol. Normally, we would not prepare spiders this way, but this one, we didn't have a jar big enough but also it's more impressive when it's in a box like this. So this one's been taxidermied to some degree. The guts have been hollowed out of the abdomen and it's been stuffed with cotton. We have one of the best bed bug collections in the world. Very flat, round looking little things. The big eye spots on this owl butterfly, normally you wouldn't see those if it were sitting on a tree because that's the underside of it right there. The top side of the owl butterfly is this lovely blue and yellow and brown. But when this butterfly is flying overhead, a bird perched on a branch looking up will not see a butterfly. It'll see two big owl eyes looking down. It'll probably think twice before attacking. Many insects are very particular about the plants they feed on, about the, the habitat they prefer to live in. As landscapes change due to climate, due to diversion of waterways, due to land use changes, farms into cities, the insects will reflect those changes because of their preference for certain habitats. And so by mapping out those locations over time, we can start to reconstruct what the environments looked like at the time the specimens were collected. But I think what inspires me the most is having the specimens right there in my hands, putting them under the microscope, being able to see the fine details. They're beautiful, they're inspiring, and will never figure out all of them, we'll never catalog all of them. There's always going to be something new to find. Well, I'm really afraid of spiders. I've always been afraid of spiders. My parents used to have to do spider checks. <laughs> oh my lord! What I guess I should have this? warned you. <laughs> this is so gross. Okay, oh my, don't you dare open that. I won't open it. I'm just give me my hands for... This is, this is, I feel like this is me. I'm like looking in a mirror right now.